So to prospective students, I would say that you know UConn is a unique place. It's a smaller department, in particular the Structures and Applied Mechanics group is a smaller group. But, but if you look within that group, there's some really interesting work that's being done. We have a department that's kind of big enough to have a lot of resources, but without it feeling overwhelmingly large, you still get to know the other people that you're working with. You get to get close with all the faculty members, particularly in your discipline. And I think the most important thing when you're deciding on a graduate school is to like, get to know the advisor that you're going to be working with. We are having meetings together and dialogue together with working professionals and discuss their uh, actual engineering problems. And this you know, mutual interaction and collaboration environment is really, really big, in, especially in, in our activities. Being a faculty at the university and involved in research, we're always shooting for how our particular research is going to help the bigger society. I am working on a few different research projects. Uh, mostly I focus on bridge infrastructure from initial design and construction to inspection and also rehabilitation if that's needed. The focus of my research at UConn is so-called structural health monitoring. Like doctors in the medical field, as a civil engineer, we want to monitor our infrastructure using sensors. So what is unique about our graduate program at UConn is that in addition to performing research activities or graduate classes, we expose them to other opportunities like entrepreneurial experiences. They can start a company, startup company, and uh, they will be coached by professionals at UConn how to make it a successful experience. The, the students that work with me, ma many of them are, are PhD students, but we have master's students and, and undergraduate students. And in particular, I like to see the students, we come in, there's some mentoring with getting them up to speed and learning tools that they need to learn. A lot of what we do is interdisciplinary, so it's, it's a number of different tools and things and courses that they have to take to come up to speed. But ideally where I like to see the students get to is, is to a point where they can work independently. Reading papers and doing lab work and all of that, I mean, those are all good things, but I find that the critical thinking and the ability to piece things together in research comes from that interaction and the questions and answers part. It's not just, you know, that I will just tell them what the right answer is. It's not about that. It's about the ability to sustain an active dialogue and to use that to put the puzzle together. The thing I love most about this um this uh, research is the fact that I get to work in collaboration with the industry because, you know, it's interesting and then it's very fulfilling as a student to get your results from your research being used to solve a real life situation. The opportunity to be working on something that I know is actually going to be part of the future, it's going to make a difference, it's, that's something that's very meaningful to me. I mean, this is like cutting edge stuff. And so to think that I might have some small hand in that is really empowering and it feels good. You know, getting hands-on experience, being able to manage people and, you know, follow deadlines and everything like that was super helpful, I think, one, for an engineering sense, but two, especially since I'm going into construction management. All faculty, university faculty, their main goal is not only doing research, not only helping the universities, the major aim or goal is helping students. They are the future generation of the uh, engineering field. So we like to help them from the very beginning. Graduate students, they play a critical role. Essentially, they are the ones that they do the work. And I, my role is just to make sure we stay on track, we stay on schedule, but they are doing most of the thinking. They're generating the data, they are writing the papers. But they learn from me on those aspects. And when they have a problem, they have strength, they have confidence, they can do that. That kind of attitude, I think they, they like to learn, I hope they like to learn from me.